StallionEsearch.com Sire Profile. RC Me Leaving You. In Louisiana's Delta Equine Center in Vinton, Louisiana, there resides a sire that has made headlines in the quarter horse racing world in 2022 for his shockingly impressive numbers from a limited crop and his first runners to hit the racetrack. The sire being referenced is RC Me Leaving You, and he has thus far in his brief sire career been truly a diamond in the rough. With only 12 foals of racing age in his first crop, his offspring are yielding 70% winners from starters. His average earnings per starter is a gaudy $46,000, which is 31 times his current stud fee. RC Me Living You has shown his ability to instill brilliance and speed into his offspring, reflected here by the fastest qualifier for the grade two dash for cash futurity, the Duke, who has gone on to qualify into the restricted grade one Louisiana Million futurity at Evangeline Downs, skyrocketing the interest in the sire, RC Me Leaving You. This horse is breeding, he's Corona's Leaving You on top, and his bottom side goes back to Streakin' Six and all the way back to Streakin' La Jolla, who was one of the greatest race horses that I ever saw. And I took care of Streakin' La Jolla all of his six races. He won six, run six races, and he won all six races. He, as far as I'm concerned, as a racehorse goes, and as a broodmare sire, Streak in La Jolla was the best I ever had my hands and the privilege of taking care of. So this horse, as far as I'm concerned, comes home to me, and I love his breeding. Uh, Corona's Leaving You uh, leaves a stamp as well of grit and determination. All of his babies, his winning percentage is excellent, and all of his babies run somewhere along the racetrack, whether it's 440, 220. He competes, they win, and people love his offspring. This horse is going to be one of the stallions in Louisiana that produces sires, in my opinion. Phenomenal looking horse. Um, uh, they don't come any prettier than he is. Put put together well. Um, everything you want in confirmation, in a, in a, especially in a breeding stallion. This horse's neck comes out at a perfect angle. He's not a real long neck. He's kind of a, an average average length of neck. He has an excellent slope of his shoulder, and it ties in with perfect balance. If you go on down his back and go to his hips, he has a perfect slope to the hip. Low hocks. He's got a massive hind end for pushing going down the racetrack. This horse's hip, whenever we're looking at this horse and people are looking at this horse and you're describing the horse, they can continually go back to his hip. His hip is not round. It's got the perfect slope and way it ties into the Gaskin muscles and it goes down into those hocks that are low to the ground. This is a hip, if you were drawing a quarter horse and you were drawing the hip of a quarter horse race horse, this horse would be the model for an artist to draw the perfect hip. He's going to put great foundation into your mare. He's going to put a uh, good bone on the baby. He's got great, great foundation to put muscle on um, to really fill a horse out on. He, he throws that to his babies um, phenomenally. Um, all of his babies come out with very good bone structure, a lot to work with. Um, good short cannon bones, very easy to handle. They're very smart. They're willing. Um, you know, anything you ask them to do, they take to it great. I've been a veterinarian for 43 years and I walked the racetrack for 30 years. I've seen horses from Mr. Jess Perry to, to Streak in La Jolla to Carnahan's Magic to Corona's Leaving You. I've taken care of all of these horses. Uh, I've seen Dash for Cash. There's not a horse out there that I haven't put my eyes on. When you look at this horse, I don't care who 
what other horse you look at, when you look at this horse, you, these owners and these people that are wanting to breed continually go back and say, would you get the RC me leaving you out again? And we would take him out, put him up, grab him up. Could you get RC me leaving you out again? This horse is the perfect specimen of a racehorse and the way I would like a stallion to look. With all the boxes checked with pedigree and confirmation to make a top sire in the quarter horse racing world, the proof is truly in the offspring. With a limited number of 10 runners hitting the track in his first crop in 2022, seven of them became home winners, with three out of the 10 posting multiple wins in their first year of racing, including allowance winner Leaving on an Eagle, seen here winning in allowance company at Ritama Park, or one off. Restricted Grade 2 Laddie Futurity Trial winner at Delta Downs in May of 2022. Or Restricted Grade 1 LQHBA Sale Futurity Trial winner New Blend, seen here winning in August at Delta Downs. Or Heartland Futurity Qualifier at Horseshoe Indianapolis, You Fly Baby Fly, seen here winning in July at Indiana. But truly, the big reason RC Me Leaving You is catching big headlines in the quarter horse racing world is for a two-year-old homebred gelding out of the Jess, Louisiana blue mare, Precious Perry Girl, by the name of the Duke. This horse, RC Me Leaving You, is truly a diamond in the rough. Everything, we have, we have tried to promote him. It's very, very hard to start a new stallion. And if you don't, can't get numbers, you've got to be very blessed for that horse to make it. Well, this horse has not had uh, excellent numbers in his first three years, but he's already produced 70% winners. He's already produced one that was the fastest qualifier for the Dash for Cash Maturity. And if we can get numbers to this horse, you wait and see what this, hus this horse does in the future. He is truly a diamond in the rough and he is truly a bargain right now because he will be one of the top stallions in this country. Be sure to check back on stallionesearch.com for episode three for the conclusion of the sire profile of RC Me Leaving You.